Box Office, Emoji Movie Goes to Battle with Dunkirk, Atomic Blonde for Top Spot Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk and animated comedy The Emoji Movie are in a battle for the top spot at the domestic box office with Dunkirk heading for about $28 million, estimates showed Friday. Emoji appeared headed for about $25 million. Charlize Theron's Atomic Blonde is performing slightly under expectations and is forecasted to finish in the $18 million to $20 million range. Should Warner Brothers Dunkirk prevail, it will be the first title to top back-to-back -to -back weekends since the studio's Wonder Woman did so on June 9th to 11. But the Emoji Movie is showing decent drawing power with an opening day in the $9 million range, although the core demographic of children plus some rain in the eastern United States makes predictions problematic. Dunkirk topped expectations during its opening weekend with $50.5 million and boosted that to $74.3 million as of Thursday. Even if it doesn't win the weekend again, it's still performing impressively with a relatively modest 44% decline for its second session. The studio has positioned Dunkirk, which recounts the 1940 evacuation of 300,000 Allied troops from France, as an early awards season contender. The Emoji Movie took in $900,000 on Thursday night previews, then expanded to 4,069 venues on Friday. The movie, which has a $50 million budget, shows the secret world inside a teen's smartphone. T.J. Miller, Maya Rudolph, Christina Aguilera, Anna Ferris, James Corden, Jennifer Coolidge, Sofia Vergara, and Patrick Stewart comprise the voice cast. Critics have given a big thumbs down to the Emoji Movie, currently at 3% on Rotten Tomatoes, but the film's core demographic of younger children is critic-proof. Sony has been actively promoting the Emoji Movie, with Miller parasailing into Cannes in May to help launch the movie's first trailer, and will begin an international rollout next weekend. Focus Features and Sierra Slash Affinity's spy thriller Atomic Blonde had been projected for an opening weekend in the low $20 million range from 3,304 sites. Atomic Blonde, which has a $30 million price tag, is set in 1989 Germany during the fall of the Berlin Wall. Critics have supported the R-rated Atomic Blonde, which has a 73% fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Theron portrays a top-level British spy dispatched to Berlin to take down an espionage ring. David Leach, the co-director of John Wick, helmed the movie. James McAvoy, John Goodman, Till Schweiger, Eddie Marson, Sophia Bautella, and Toby Jones also star. Early audience surveys by Comscore Screen Engine's post-track showed 33% of the audience gave Atomic Blonde an excellent rating and another 38% rated it very good. Universal's second weekend of R-rated comedy Girls Trip appears headed for fourth place with about $15 million after an impressive $31.2 million opening. It took in a solid $42.2 million in its first six days. Overall summer business is down 7% compared with last year at $2.89 billion as of July 26 and is not likely to improve this weekend, according to Comscore. That's resulted in downturn in year-to-date domestic grosses, which have dipped 1.1% to $6.65 billion as of July 26. Wonder Woman and Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 have been the summer's only significant strong performers. Wonder Woman recently passed the Guardian sequel as the 27th highest domestic grocer of all time with $391.9 million after 8 weeks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget subscribe my channel to watch more video.